Hi there. I thought I would do a video for you today. Um, I'm going to show Jade by Envy in two shades. Jade is a large wig cap size. And offhand, I'm going to show it in uh, Mocha Frost and also Medium Gray. Uh, and offhand, I know it's a lace front. I have to look at the inside of the cap here, so I'll pull out the Mocha Frost. Mocha Frost, just without having it to put right beside it. You know, I'm going to turn off my light here. There, it's a little more accurate, hopefully. Uh, reminds me a bit of a 24BT18 for John Renault color. So yeah, that has a lace front, and then it's got the, the rose lace on top. I'm sure there's permatease there. Open cap in the back. Open ear tabs. It does not have an extended nape. And that is not moleskin there. And again, it's a large cap size. Um, this is probably... It's got... Um, I don't know how much you can play with it and I'm, to make it look a bit different. It's got a bit of a... Um, sort of a 60s house, housewife look to me when I put it on before, but we'll see what happens. I've got on John Renault's Star right now. This is what I've been wearing to work lately. Um, it's just with the summer. It's cooler and I just sort of play with it and let it do whatever it wants to do. I've got a little bit of product in there. I've uh, got to be just like a hair paste thing that comes in the little tub. It's not the glued, it's just like a styling paste. And I'll have to look up what the color is because I don't remember what it is. A star is discontinued. Anyway, it's similar, I think, to Elite uh, Osolite caps. And um, and I did trim, I thinned this one out sort of at the temples and I've just played with it. But anyway, and I wore my glasses home from work today, so I, I guess I should take them off. I'll be able to see better there, mostly so I can read. Um, so, let's see what happens here. Oh, I used a bit of glue this morning. Uh oh. Here they see. Oh, let's see what happens because it's stuck to my forehead. This can make a cute, uh, cute updo. There. <laughs> bit of a Marge Simpson. Looks got a bit of a '60s look right there, huh? <laughs> oh gosh, now I gotta. Pull it off without pulling the few hairs that I've got on the front there. Ow. I know if I was smart, I'd go. Oh, I've got a bit of water. This is a great look. <laughs> so happy to be filming myself doing this. Just had my spray bottle here, so there we go. Ah, still have a little bit of hair left there. So this is I wear my wig cap underneath because my own hair is darker than. Um, the color of my star wig, and I don't want it to make the wets show through. So let's put jade on here. Um, oh, and it's got the pull tabs at the back. It's not Velcro, so I'm going to pull the pull tabs a little bit because it's pretty certain to be loose on me. And again, this is in the Mocha Frost. Ready? Because I don't know if I am. A bit of a whoop. A little bit of a housewife thing. Okay, so definitely for the sizing of the cap, it's right down on my ears. I could I could pull it down even beyond the top of my ear. It would be sitting on top of my ear. Um, almost covering all my temple hair. And here is the lace front. And how deep is that lace front? It's not terribly deep. Probably about an inch, inch and a bit maybe. You know what? It doesn't feel quite as housewifey. What Stepford wife? That was the I was trying to think of it. I sort of thought of it like Stepford wife a little bit. 
before and based on when one of my clients tried it on too, it's just that was one of the drawbacks for them and they needed a large cap size and um, and this fit them nicely but they just felt it was a bit too poofy. But if you do need a large cap size, and especially if you find that average cap size, if they don't come down close enough to your ear, this one is really, this would be uncomfortable on me because it's pushing down on my ears. Well, anyway, let's, uh, before I do much to it. That's actually got a nice curl. It's been a while since I had it out of the box, so. And Mocha Frost, definitely a pretty color. So I think you might just want to work with, I mean, if if it bothers you, it actually doesn't bother me. Because it's got the permatees and a, and a bit of a boof from here back, from the lace front, you could work on just where, the way you've got the bangs crossed, or parted, that's the word I wanted. Making a little bit of a mess here. It almost it almost naturally wants to sort of all go back and that's not what I would want to do. Get it to go to the side more. Why not play with it a little? And just uh, mess it up a bit more. I will say looking in my mirror off to the side there, looks a lot bigger than it does when I'm looking in the camera. I found the same with Reese. And partly, it probably doesn't help, I've been wearing a really cropped short wig. But yeah, when I'm looking in the mirror, I feel the Stepford Wife thing a little more. I still think it's pretty, but I, I feel a little more Stepfordy. But that could be your whole outfit look, right? I mean, I've got I don't know if this particular dress goes with it, but if you're going for kind of a look, that could be kind of fun. Definitely liking the Mocha Frost. Uh, hang on, I'm going to grab a John Renault 24 BT18 and just uh, hold it up beside so you can see the color comparison. Okay, so I just grabbed, this is actually Giselle in 24 BT18, so it's not got the shaded root. And I can't see it from there, so you just see what you think. Very, very similar, I think. And I'll probably watch the footage later and go, oh my god, that's not alike at all. I never know until I watch things back. But I realize I've got three Giselles, and I haven't shown them yet. I've got Giselle in the 24 BT18 shaded praline, and what's the other one? <gasps> Strawberry syrup. So I think I'm running out of daylight here. I don't know if I can do that this video today. But uh, yeah, it's it was surprising uh, when I looked in the mirror when I went to grab um, the Giselle. It looks so different in the mirror in person than it does on the camera. So you're gonna have to take my word for it that. Um, it is going to be more full. But just looking in the mirror, it's so much more full than it is on camera. It's it's bizarre the way this happens. Especially since everything else about me looks bigger on camera than it does in the mirror. So I don't understand why the hair looks smaller on camera. I wish... Well, I don't know. Anyway, so take that into consideration. Um, the size of it and the volume of it, part of that can can be good if, you know, overall you have uh, a stronger bone structure. If you're bigger proportionately, uh, large cap size, if you're taller and everything, you can carry it off a lot better than someone, I'm only five, four and a half, I think. I don't even remember. I think I'm shrinking too. Um, but nice curl. And let's try it on in the medium gray, which is also a good opportunity for you to see that color. Love this color. All right, hang on.
And this is medium gray from Envy. Again, jade. Um, now, I have found in other wigs as well that the grays and the whites, similar to the blondes, they are shiny to begin with. But a little bit of the dry shampoo and a couple of washes, just uh, kind of breaking them in a bit, that makes a difference. Um, now, I'm seeing some permatees there. For sure. Could be just the one I've got. Could be that it is styled so that it goes back to keep that from showing. So if that was darker at the roots, it would show a bit less. But I think it, at least on this one, it could just be this particular wig. I didn't notice it on the other one. And it could also just be that this one's lighter. Let's do a spin around. It's, uh, it looks to be a very blue-gray. It's a pretty shade. But definitely a cool gray. So you can get this. It does seem to be styled so this goes back. Um, unless you've got darker roots or darker hair. I don't know. What is that exposing? I can't see. I'll see it later when you guys see it. If it's exposing anything, I don't know. But if you like that fullness, it's generally styled to to go up and back. My own hair is going to show here. Well, so there it is. Jade, large cap size by NB, lace front wig, open cap. Uh, style to sort of go straight back there can play with the bangs a little bit to get them, you know, so they're not all just like, I mean, you could do that if you wanted to. It's whatever you like. For some people, that would suit them beautifully. It's everyone suits things differently, so. It's funny, now I like this one better in the mirror than, than I do on camera. So odd. I don't understand how that happens, but anyway, I've gone on way too long. I wanted to get a closer look at the top. I can't quite see it. I'll see it when I look at the video. So, it's been permatized and sort of the direction of the wefts go back. But if you wanted to sort of pull it to the side, because of the direction of the wefts going back, it sort of gives it lift and over, which I don't think is terrible. I don't know, but then again, I can't quite see it right now. And stretch test. Lots of stretch, and I've got the tabs pulled to about as uh, tight as I can get. 